We are not done with the governorship election in Ekiti State. The Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room has rated INEC high in terms of logistics and commencement of voting in today's Ekiti State governorship election. The Situation Room is made up of over 70 civil society organizations working in support of credible and transparent elections in Nigeria. It stated that the Situation Room observed early arrival of poll officials and election materials in 93% of the polling units observed. The Institution Room added that there were reports of widespread vote buying by political party agents across the 16 local government areas of AKT. We now have a political analyst and election observer right there in AKT State, Chike Chudi, joining us. Good evening, Mr. Chudi. Yeah, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Okay, uh, where do we start from? Uh, from our observation here, we are on the other side. You are on the ground there. We are on the other side. From this other side, it looks pretty peaceful overall. What's your opinion? Well, the reason why it looks uh, peaceful overall is because it is peaceful overall. Um, there has been uh, very little incidents to be worried about in the Kichi state. And uh, of course, I think what gives um, an idea of uh, that, of what has brought that about, is the fact that um, if you notice the reduction in the number of security personnel that are deployed to a Kichi state, is drastically less than we had in the last election, governorship election in the Kichi state. We had that from 30 to 34,000. Uh, you know, security personnel deployed to a Kitty state. Now we have a massive, massive reduction to about 17,000. So that gives you an idea that even that the security agencies have also done their due diligence and also realize that uh, the level of uh, the threat level is not as it was, uh, you know, in previous elections in the state. And uh, we have seen this manifest in, uh, in the period leading to this election. Of course, it is not as if there are no skirmishes. Uh, about some days ago, the the factional leader of the National Union of Road Transport Workers was shot dead. Uh, but the security people uh, quickly stepped into the fray and then ensured that uh, there was no repriser. And so, I mean, uh, from that moment uh, onwards, it's been relatively peaceful. And so we saw the combination of that uh, in the election that took place today. Uh, most of the centers were, you know, uh, incidents free. And I think it speaks well of uh, the people of Ekiti State it speaks well of especially the security agencies, you know, for the deployment that they did. And then, uh, you know, so that, that's, that's, what, that's what we have seen. It's, it's, it's um, relatively free. Thank you, and, Mr. You know, it's, it's security wise, it, it, the state is okay. Yeah, Mr. Chudi. Now, uh, early turnout of voters, large turnout of voters. Are we beginning to see a reduction in, the, uh, uh, in voter apathy in Nigeria? Can we make that? Yes, I think it is, too, it is too early to make that uh, assertion, you know, okay. conclusively. Okay. Uh, because um, we, you know, again, first of all, we need to wait to uh, get the available data, all the relevant data, you know, uh, that are out there in terms of uh, the number of people that turned out, the number of people that voted, and so to see whether there, there is an actual improvement to what we had in the last election in Ekiti State. But from our own observation, the turnout was fairly was fairly okay and even the media reports and that's why you're making uh, also reference to that uh, because usually the media will tell you how low it is too but it is not it is not low at all and uh, it is also the same thing that we have seen so i guess that that could be a sign of uh, good things and uh, the one thing you want to look at as a possible reason could be that the level of consciousness of uh, the citizens of a kitty state is on the rise Yes, I was coming to that. The consciousness of voters in that state. Uh, can we attribute that to uh, the level of education in the state or it's just uh, voter sensitization? What would you say? No, I think it's voter sensitization. And then, of course, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, remove voter sensitization from education too. Uh, because once, once you sensitize, you educate. Uh, so I think it's a combination of uh, both. A lot has gone in uh, into uh, sensitizing the voters, and then the ongoing exercise at the national level. You know, uh, you know with the primaries of uh, the most of the political parties, I think also 
generated some level of interest too. So I think yes, in a way that also helped, you know, generally. And then again, perhaps it might not be out of place to also suggest that uh, perhaps Nigerians are beginning to understand the importance of uh, these elections. You know, and that is why they are responding in the way that uh, they are, uh, you know, are responding uh, because they, they are looking at their lives, they are looking at uh, what is going on and uh, with their welfare, and uh, perhaps they feel that a uh, solution can lie with uh, electing the right kind of uh, political leadership, perhaps. Okay. Yes, you, you, it's like you spoke my mind. You read my mind. Now, the, the uh, voter response in this election, um, are we beginning to see uh, voter responsibility, citizen responsibility in their practical involvement in elections, saying enough is enough, poverty, enough is enough, uh, poor education system, enough is enough, insecurity, enough is enough. Is that why? No, obviously Nigerians are worried about that, and the citizens of Ekiti State are Nigerians, so they are also worried about their existence, uh, you know, and uh, uh, obviously they are not happy with what is going on, and nobody will be happy. And I think a lot of them are beginning to realize that uh, their political engagement is also crucial to having the kind of country that they desire. But so even as much as we can make this argument, there is also the negative aspect of it. And uh, which you might get to, but at least it's, it's important I talk about it. And that is the, the, the instance of uh, vote buying. Yeah, because when we make this assertion, for instance, about, um, about uh, this new awakening, this new level of consciousness among Nigerians, uh, it's a very good thing. But you also realize that uh, the you know, incidence of uh, vote buying uh, would, would seem to uh, kind of vitiate uh, this uh, very good motive on the part of uh, you know, the citizens of uh, Ekiti State. Uh, of course, while some of the institutions, federal institutions, did got their acts right, like the police did well in terms of deployment, very early deployment, by around 8.30 or 9, virtually all polling units in the state had police presence there and, and, and security presence, which is very commendable. And then INEC again turned out reasonably well in virtually all the polling uh, units, about uh, maybe as at 9 o'clock, about 93% or so a turnout, which is very, very commendable. But the politicians did what they, the politicians that led the people of Ekiti State are they, you know, down. They are the ones that are engaged in this uh, vote buying too. And that is not to exonerate the people that are also being bought, whose consciences are being bought. You know, but of course, you also look at the issue of poverty and the weaponization of poverty. So it becomes very difficult for people to say no. So yes, they are on one side, the people want a better Ekiti State and they want a better country. But on the other side, their involvement in, um, you know, vote uh, uh, selling, you know, uh, did not exactly paint them well in good light. Hmm. Thank you. You've made my job easier tonight, Mr. Chude, by uh, jumping uh, on uh, vote buying because I was coming to that. Now, I want you to do, uh, perhaps it's still too early to, to judge, but can you do uh, a quick and overall... Um, uh, judgment of, of the outing today, what, what would you score INEC on, on this? I, I wouldn't want to score INEC, but what, the only thing I, I can tell you is that uh, this is, uh, you know, markedly better from what we saw in Anambra State and what we experienced. That was Anambra State too. And then the Abuja Municipal Council elections too. We are not, uh, I mean, we had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, beavers machines uh, breaking down. And uh, but what we have seen today is that there was about 76 percent proper functionality of the Beavers machine in the election that took place in Ekiti State today. Quite commendable. Quite and so I think that that is a reasonable improvement, yeah. and that is progress. That is the only way we can put it. There is progress. There is progress in the logist INEC logistics. There is progress, which of course, which includes the deployment of uh, staff and their materials and all that, you know. And then they came in on time. And there was progress in that. There is progress in the functioning of the Beavers machine. And there is progress, there was progress in the turnout of uh, the police and the conduct of uh, the police. Although in a few places, I mean, they performed creditably, creditably well and, civil, and in a very civil manner. Though in a few places, some few bad eggs were involved in, uh, in um, you know, uh, in aiding uh, uh, voter for uh, selling of uh, of a, a inducement of a voters, which also was not good. But in general, as this election was an improvement, if a, a fairly a good improvement on what we saw in Anambra State and in Abuja. 
Amazing, amazing. Thank you very much. My last question to you. Uh, do you see INEC uh, repeating these uh, sterling performance in 2023? Well, before they repeat that in 2023, they have to repeat it in Oshun State. Yeah. And of course, don't forget that we have an election in Oshun State on the 16th, yeah. you know, of, uh, of next month. July. And so we hope that uh, this will not be one step forward and two steps backwards. Hmm. We want to believe that again, that they will improve on uh, the uh, improvements that we have seen in this last uh, this uh, this election today. So a lot of people have been waiting to see Annex uh, out in today and of course in July uh, when we get to uh, Osho State. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Chukichudi. You are an interviewer's delight any day, any time. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.